This is Jerusalem at sunset time. It's actually the end of sun, uh, sunset time. Um, you can see, can you see the far, far away mountain? Behind it is already the um, Judean Desert. Actually, that part is the Judean Desert too, but the Dead Sea is there. I don't know if you can see, but there you can see the wall. Um, yeah, a little bit. It's not so easy to see from here. The wall between Israel and the West Bank. But I didn't even stop for here. I didn't even stop here because of the tomb of Oskar Schindler that uh, is um, buried there in the Catholic uh, cemetery. I didn't stop even the, um, at the other. I'm not going to talk about Mount Zion, which is there. So many things to see there. I'm talking about Judas. Um, we have the end of Judas. It's actually that we have two different stories. The first one is that um, he gave back the 30 coins of shekels that the priest gave him just before Jesus was crucified, but the priest couldn't use it. Then they actually uh, built a cemetery for non-Jews who believe in Judaism. And the second story is that he bought himself with the money a burial site. According to tradition, it's right here. This is Hell Valley. Uh, the book of Jeremiah said that at the time of Jeremiah, the people used to, I mean, the non Jews used to sacrifice their firstborn son there. It sounds familiar, the story of Abraham and Isaac. But can you see the Greek Orthodox monastery? This is Hakeldama, which is the field of the blood. And according to that tradition, John um, Judas is buried. Then here it is. Not so far away from the city of David, not so far away from the Kidron Valley at Jerusalem. Then that's where he was buried. It's a Greek Orthodox monastery. Not easy to go in, but you can. Jerusalem, the end of July, 2020.